What's up? How's it? Isaac Hoffman Hikes here under quarantine. I hope everyone's safe. I'm going to bring you in for a little quick view of the Dodge Broham I live in. Why don't you come along? I hope you have the passion of adventure to join me. Why don't you check out the backyard right now? Boom. What's up? There's my neighbor Lonnie. What's up, Lonnie? So, boom. This is the backyard. Got a little fireplace that I bring out. Everyone, in my opinion, should have their own uh, hobo cart to uh, put recyclables in. Uh, recyclables in. Uh, you want to always recycle. And then, boom. Here is the Barbie Cure, the steak maker. Boom. We're going to bring you around here to the backyard. Boom. Spot 14. And look at this view I got. Boom, I'm gonna bring you up here real quick for a view. That is Mount Diablo. Check out my hikes for Mount Diablo. Boom, I'm gonna bring you around. We're gonna come on into the front yard. There's the driveway. Boom, here's a little front yard area. Bring you over here and show you guys the uh, hammock that I made out of old fire hoses. Make sure you Recycle. That's another example on how to recycle. Boom. Old fire hoses made into a hammock. Boom. We're going to bring you all right around in. And boom. We got the heater. Boom. That one right there you can buy from almost any store. Um, and that one works great for me. I learned about these in Alaska when I lived in Alaska. And my aunt bought us a bunch of those. And that's all we used, basically. We saved a lot of money with our oil heater that way. Boom. This is a stove that I actually don't use. Reason for that is because I don't want to um, have anything go wrong. Or I don't want to have to redo anything if it were to break on me. Because I don't have the money to refix anything uh, this old. Fixing old stuff... Uh, can sometimes be expensive and I do not have the money so this I, I've learned that sometimes these Dodge Brohams are a money pit and you got to watch out so do as much as you can with them in my opinion and um, use them what you what you need for and broom them quick <laughs> so we'll bring you around here to the bathroom kitchen uh kitchenette bathroom slash it's got a sink here really but I don't use that sink um, I can still brush my teeth here and use this sink right here so this sink works really well um, so I do use the sink and I do use the bathroom to pee and go to the bathroom and I got all my bathroom supplies right there boom I'm gonna bring you around oh yeah let me show you the view again that I get back here nice little view of mount d boom bring you around here here's the sink again boom here is the pantry where i keep the food we're gonna come along up top we're gonna keep it up top here we're gonna open door number one what's in door number one we've got um some fishing supplies and mostly audio and uh, camera and video equipment and musical stuff and then boom, what's in door number two? Door number two, boom. I have uh, the change jar and some bills and a few other essentials. Boom, we're gonna come over here. What's in door number three? Boom, here's a library. Boom, yep. Fellowship of the Rings, all of them. Coming on over here, got the skate videos, the Bruce Lee videos. Coming along here, got the climbing uh, books. Uh, and all of that right here in front of you as you could see is the uh, viewing area where I put the phone to uh, watch movies and so forth boom gonna step back real quick come back and this is the uh, dining room table uh, this is where all the meals happen and then this folds down into a bed as well boom we're gonna bring you on over here and this is the couch slash camera equipment uh, holder. <laughs> I have my drone here. 
I also have some bed supplies and of course I've got my computer bag and camera bag and uh, and all the camera equipment goes over there. I love to keep my camera equipment right here by me. Um, you know, otherwise I get a little anxious. <laughs> Boom, on up here, here's my bed. And uh, this uh, little top uh, bunk bed area, I actually don't use. I just use it to store the bed when I have the table out. And I also use it to store a few other essential items in there. Boom, I drop it on down. And as you can see, I've got the front two uh, driver's side and passenger side um, area. I've got that blocked off with a cool uh, picture, I think. Uh, bring it on in there though and I've got storage is what I've gotten there. I love that for storage. Some say I should probably use this for seating space, but I, eh, I need storage space more. Boom, bring it on up here and what do we got? We've got climbing gear. Love the climbing gear. What do we got in door number two? Boom, this is my clothes. Boom, we've got a fridge down here. Nice little fridge. You can put Snickers bars and you can put candy and you can put beer in there. Boom, bring it on up. Got the calendar. Always got to have the calendar to organize these hikes that I go on for Isaac Hoffman hikes. And check this out. Unfortunately, I did not get to go on this camping trip because of this whole quarantine deal. Uh, I hope everyone's safe uh, if I didn't say that before uh, during this trying time. Boom, I've got the closet right here boom all the jackets uh this is my letterman jacket from high school i'm pretty sure um go falcons boom i want to bring it on down here this is where i keep in the socks and this is where i keep um a few other cool little skate wheels and stuff i find on hikes have you guys ever found any of these uh let me know in the comments if you know what those are and the real reason I wanted to bring you guys in here, let me turn you guys around. The real reason I wanted to bring you guys into this Dodge Broham is because of the way that I pimped out the roof. Everyone's gonna like this. I'll show this on, um, a, maybe I'll show this on a few other platforms. I'm gonna see how this one goes first. Um, but check this out, watch, you're gonna love this. So, if I bring you straight up and down, we've got the ceiling that I did. And the ceiling I did is composed of a bunch of road maps that I glued onto the roof of my Broham. So, as you can see right here, we have uh, the Eastern Sierra Mountains. And uh, this is like headed up towards the Warner Mountain areas um, in the corner of California by um, uh, uh, almost headed towards Reno and then almost towards over towards Klamath Falls, Oregon that way. And um, boom, you can bring it on down and this all connects. Um, as you can see, all connects. It's that same highway all the way down. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Modoc Wilderness right here as well that you're looking at. This is Modoc Wilderness. Comes down. Oh, bringing you too close. Boom. Modoc Wilderness comes down. And then it comes into um, Honey Lake. Honey Lake. Uh, this is where you dart over towards Reno, I believe, if you're going that way. Honey Lakes is a really cool alkaline lake, I believe. And it does look like a big old bucket of honey if you hit it at the right time of year. Boom, come on down again. I've got it connecting all the way down to uh, Tahoe area. Boom, it connects right there. There's Lake Tahoe. And then it goes and it stops right here. And then um, I connected a couple more right there, but that technically doesn't connect to those. On the other side, I started down here in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, right by the San Rafael Bridge almost-ish. And uh, you bring it on up this way to Clear Lake. This is Clear Lake right here. Boom, Clear Lake 
it keeps on coming up north. So this is almost the uh, western side of the Sierras. Boom, it comes all the way up here and keeps on going. And uh, yeah, so this is the uh, roof of my 1978 Dodge Broham. And I thought it was pretty cool to use this road map in this way to kind of pimp out uh, the roof of this Dodge Broham. And just so you guys get a reference of what part of the state of California I'm talking about, it is this part right here, basically Northern California. And if you were wondering what they considered Northern California to go down to, I'm pretty sure that's the bottom right there and no further. Uh, so yeah, this is um, some of these squares uh, that I did and I've got uh, 31 through, uh, uh, I believe this one down here. That's what I showed you. These are the Warner mountains up here. And then this is Nevada technically. And then I've got, um, over here by clear Lake, uh, a section over here too, that goes down. I also, of course, have the, my own square where I'm at. See, you can see it right there. It says you here. <laughs> Let me come in on it. Boom. That's Big Break Marina. And that's, well, we're right on the San Joaquin. San Joaquin goes back and it makes our beautiful Delta. And so, I'm sure some of you are asking, Isaac, why didn't you do the whole map and connect all the squares? And the reason for that is, is because some of the pages to do the next square is literally the next page of that map, if you understand what I'm saying. So I can only use one side, technically, I'd have to want to copy the other side to use it. And I didn't want to do copies. Uh, so I, I, and I probably should have, to do it right, had about three of these books so that I could do it all the right way. But I kind of ju just went with it in an artistic fashion and just kind of threw it up. And I implore all you guys to do that as well. Here is the... Sacramento River. Here's the north side of it. Comes on down. And so, yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me. I hope you have the passion of adventure to check this one out. Please like and subscribe and check my channel for more videos. Cheers.